So it looks like a lot of people haven't been watching the full video where I answered a bunch of questions. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to make an actual video about this. Not exactly like a full tutorial just because, you know, there's many ways to go about it and there's plenty of better tutorials on there. But, <clears throat> you know, I'll just do this and put in the title and everything so people stop emailing me and asking so many questions about it because even after answering already in um, in the uh, questions video, I'm still getting emails about it and I'm still getting uh, questions about uh, how do you play Summoner's War on PC? Well, I'm going to answer right now, okay? The only way that you can play Summoner's War on PC, like actually clicking, is with MobyZen. And that's the only way that, like, because Bluestacks got uh, banned. Um, as far as I know, MobyZen is the only one where you can actually click. And I'm pretty sure it's a little bit laggy if you do decide to play. I mean, other than that, you you can't, you know. the I, Right now, what you're seeing on here, um, besides, you know, the face cam, it's not me playing on the computer. You, you're what Basically, it's like if you're watching a Call of Duty video on YouTube, you know, you think, oh, he's playing it on the computer. No, you know, he's he's just recording that. I'm playing on my phone. And I'm recording it, and then I put it onto my computer and everything, and that's how I record and everything, and then I upload it. I, I don't play on my computer. I don't. The only thing my computer does is record, and um, that's that's about it. So get, now that we have that out of the way, um, first thing you'll notice is that there's no actual mouse, you know, clicking. Like, see, I can click right here, see, go in and out of full screen and stuff like that, and it, it doesn't doesn't affect the game at all. Like, I'll come here and I'll click on this monster icon. It doesn't doesn't do anything. It's my actual my actual phone. Okay, so just clearing that up. And then also we'll pull up. I am on iPhone. So this is how you do it for iPhone. I mirror it. You see that? That's 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 how you basically mirror it. Now I could go down to my settings and show you and everything, but one, I've got my IP in there, my actual um, IP address. Um, I know one of, I know it was in one of my videos, but that was just my college one, so it was not a big deal. But um, um, it has like some phone information in there, like my serial number, or I don't know, some other stuff. Uh, I can't really talk about it off the top of my head, but, um, and then of course, since it's mirrored onto my computer screen, um, once I flip it, it'll be in, instead of widescreen mode, it'll be in like a phone format and then it'll like readjust on my computer screen and then you'll see the background and everything and it's just a whole mess so i'll go ahead and uh put something on here oh and i just six starred baramos so that's nice we'll put on uh, we'll put on b7 just want to test out baramos Put him as HP leader. Because it's fun. Let me just get that healer. Uh, and okay, so now that we've got that going, I'll go ahead and uh, discuss it. Um, we can actually just... Uh, so you, you see, you see, this isn't, this isn't even like... I mean, it's on my computer, but it's not even like part of like my game where I'm uh, playing. So we'll go bring this down and you'll see this is my actual computer screen. Uh, actually pull this up a little bit. Okay. So you'll see right off the bat here I've got, you know, it's being mirrored and everything. And I use I use this other program to record uh, to screen capture. Um, I actually had to write, uh, purchase a license to do that um, to for the program that records and it's called debut professional and it's by nch software they also do video pad editor but i don't like that so i'm using Cam uh, camtasia studio uh trial version uh second time around that i'm using the trial version but uh, it's actually really good it's a 200 dollars program so i don't know if i'm ever gonna get the full version because it's expensive but very 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 nice i really like the program it's super clean you know honestly i prefer it over sony package just because it's a lot easier it's a lot more user friendly okay so we pull that over 
Okay, that's that's one of the programs. And we got debut video capture software. Boom, right there. Uh, that's the other program. Okay. Now you want to know what I use for everything? That's it. Uh, include well, not including the editing software, but this is it. Okay, so I mean, it's it's not it doesn't seem like a complicated process, right? But it is actually pretty complicated, and it took me a while to get to work. So if you're on an iOS device, then listen closely if you want to do you know this kind of thing. Um, if you're on Android, you can't do this. It's not going to work for you. Go look at Moby Zen. There's plenty of tutorials out there. I mean, it's 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 almost ridiculous um, that I have to like explain this this many times just because there's so many good tutorials out there. It literally took me probably about a week of just looking up videos, downloading programs, and then finding out what works best for me. You know, and I know a lot of people, one, either don't have that time, or two, are just too lazy to go look at it. But if you're on an iOS device, this is the one time I'm ever going to explain it. If you ask me in-game, I'm not going to answer you because it's ridiculous how many times I get asked this over email and over YouTube messages. It's literally like, like probably around 60 to 70% of the YouTube comments I get. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's, it's a lot. So iOS users, this is how you do it, okay? You get some kind of program, okay, where you're going to mirror it, all right? So X Mirage is one of them. There's a few others, plenty. You know, you could Google it, look up programs to mirror iPhone onto computer screen or something like that, you know, it's, it's, and you can even do it on Apple TV. It's Apple TV has a built-in function for that anyways. So then what you want to do is you open up the program, et cetera, whatever. Uh, we can go ahead and actually, no, we don't want to do that because then it's going to quit the program, but, um, you pull that up and it, you know, you, you can configure it and everything. Um, actually, it has my uh, iPhone information in there, too, so I don't want to pull that up. But you, you open it up, you configure it in whatever way the program requires, all right? And then and then once you get all that figured out, you can actually, and I'll pull this up and show you, because I already showed it in the beginning. So I'll go ahead and start this up again. Let that load. So you're going to go ahead and swipe up on your screen, all right? Um, okay, so to do this, you're gonna have to be connected to your computer, all right? Now mine is connected via USB, all right? And I use a, uh, I go down to connection on my iPhone and you can actually like you like use a hotspot or whatever. Now you can do that because I'm on a college internet connection and it doesn't like, doesn't read it together. There's like lots and lots and lots of different connections on the Wi-Fi, so my IP changes and stuff like that, and my computer can't connect to my iPhone. Or you can have your your uh, your computer and your iPhone on the same internet connection, and then all you do is you come up here and it'll say AirPlay, not AirDrop, AirPlay. And um, actually, I'll pull this up because it doesn't look like it's uh, so. You'll see where it says X Mirage. Um, it, it it should say AirPlay, and you click on that. All right, so if, if I just did that, see, it, it closes the program. So we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you, uh, well, I can't show you because it's uh, on my iPhone. But uh, you click X Mirage, boom, pops up. And you can just Google X Mirage as well. Not hard at all. Just Google it, get the download. Uh, be careful with viruses, obviously. I've got a good uh, firewall, but not that good for those that watch my Twitch. You know, this is the kind of shit that I download that gives me all the viruses. Uh, so, uh, pull this up actually, so you guys can see it. So yeah, and then you once you click on that, you want to click yes for Mary. If I turn it off, it's going to close it again. Um, so then we can just click done, and it should pop up on your computer screen. And then that, that it's as it's it's as easy as that. You know, just to put it lightly, it's it's not hard. It's complicated to get everything to work because you've got to get everything set up. And it can get annoying if you're not on a good internet connection because, you know, your computer won't register that, um, or your, your computer won't be on one of the receiving ends of your AirPlay on your iPhone if it's not a good enough connection. So, you know, if you, whatever program you're using to mirror uh, or to at least receive the uh, mirroring from your phone, it, your computer needs to be able to read that, all right? So, again... Just be careful with programs you download, but it's not hard at all. Just you can look up plenty on uh, plenty of tutorials for which programs work. 
Axe Mirage has been working really well for me. Um, but, of course, it doesn't really work super well uh, with stuff like Twitch. Um, I know it can get pretty laggy. My Axe Mirage just freaks out with two different things or, like, two different connections uh, feeding into it. And it's um, it can be kind of buggy with, like, streaming. Uh, so that's where, I, how, where I've been having troubles with for Twitch. And that's why it's been hard to get it kind of working. And, um, and it used to just, uh, I, don't, I cut it out of the video, but my computer screen switches. And so, like, I'll just show you really quick here, like that. Um, you know, actually, I don't know if you could see that because it's on my desktop where my recording screen is working, but uh, it pulls up, you know, whole new windows. So when I swipe, uh, sw uh, swipe on my video, uh, touchpad, it, uh, switch the screens and I know some people can see um, some people can see information that's sent through Skype if I'm not careful and that's what happens through Twitch so that's why I've been a little bit iffy on uh, uploading Twitch streams lately but um, okay so what you're gonna do after you've got your uh, your device mirrored onto your computer screen and it, you know if honestly if it's just if it's not working yet you know don't expect it to work right away that's one of the things you got you got to mess around with it and if you're using a different program it's going to work the same but you've got to get the configuration right and you got to do it yourself because you know your computer is not going to be the same as some other guy on youtube that's explaining it you know including me uh you know your computer is going to be different and it's going to be a little bit of tweaking and everything so i got x mirage it's not hard but just keep that in mind so i got x mirage working just fine then what you're going to do is you're going to need a screen capture some kind of screen capture device um I like debut professional software or whatever. It was like 40 bucks, but I bought it a while back because um, I needed to take screenshots of my computer, an old computer, and I didn't do that. Um, it wasn't that big of a deal. So I just uh, took the same license and uh, put on this, and you can see that it uh, works quite nicely. Very, very little delay. And um, I could use it to do the webcam, but I actually just use Movie Maker webcam. And, um, you know, other than that, it's been uh, pretty good. Other, like, I have to start them at the same time. And uh, my computer's a touch screen. You can see that. So I can easily just uh, start them one after the other. But that's it. That's all there is to it. Like, exactly what I said, you know, it can be complicated to set up initially for the excuse me, for the, um, for the mirroring, but other than that, it is, it is extremely, you know, straightforward, and that's what kind of, like, bugs me when people keep asking, it's because I've answered this, like, I've already answered it in chat, like, probably, like, 10, 15 times, um, and, and I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but, like, when you're trying to play the game and answer, like, in-game questions, it can get kind of annoying. And, uh, and I've gotten a lot of emails about it. Um, don't feel bad if you're asking and you're sending an email or anything. It's fine. And I know a lot of people want to do these kinds of, like, YouTube things. People, like, a lot of people, or at least some people want, like, YouTube fame. It's really, it's really not about that. It's, it's really about just, um, having fun. You know, these videos can get pretty tiresome. Not tiresome, but, um, demanding. Uh, because of like, you know, it takes a lot of time to edit, the, uh, edit the videos and everything. And now that I'm back in school, it's taking me at least, I'm trying to put out at least a video a day. Sometimes, uh, I can't put out a video right away because I need to double check everything and go back through the editing and make sure I didn't miss anything. And, um, you know, it's, it's pretty demanding. So, you know, don't think that you can just plug in everything, you know, willy nilly and then just upload videos and expect to make tons of cash, which is also not what it's about. You know, it's not, it's not about the money either. It's, it's about having fun, helping others in the game, and, you know, so keep that in mind. If you want to do this, you got to, you know, you got to know what it, it's really about because, you know, if you start this out and you get all these programs down on your computer, then you expect all these different things and it doesn't work out right away, then you're going to be kind of upset and it's just, just keep that in mind also. And if you do, if you are actually serious about this, if you're actually serious about doing the YouTube videos, um, one, one suggestion I would definitely make is, uh, have a plan, you know, don't, don't just, uh, expect to just kind of go through it and, uh, become huge popular right away. Um, 
That certainly wasn't how it was really with me. And I still wouldn't say I'm like super popular. I'd say the community um, in Summoner's War is like small enough to seem like it. But, uh, you know, 2,000 two plus subscribers isn't a huge amount compared to the amount of people out there. Um, and you just really got to be humble about it, uh, especially just because um, a lot of people enjoy watching the videos. So basically what I'm trying to get at here is, yes, it does take time. Uh, it's no, no, it's not hard. And if you're not dedicated enough and you're not like in that mindset that you want to do it hard enough where you can't just do the research on your own and just try to get it to work. Um, and I know this isn't the case for most people. Some people are just really stuck and this video is for you guys. But if you're just too lazy to go look out the information on your own, I'm going to tell you now, you're probably going to make a few videos, if that, if you even get to that point. You're going to make a few videos, and then you're going to stop. And then you're going to, like, say, what a waste of time. So don't waste your time, you know. Don't, you know, if you're really not serious about this, don't do it. You know, it's, it's not, it's not worth your time. Um, you know, this is, it's really about having fun and uh, getting you know, content out to the people that want to watch it, whether it's uh, information or just entertainment. So, uh, I just wanted to get that off my chest because it's been bugging me for a couple weeks now, maybe a few more than that, uh, because so many people have been asking me, and it's a it's, uh, little crazy that uh, people haven't seen the questions video where I very briefly went over how I do these videos. And um, I know a lot of other people use different programs and... Um, and uh, different methods. I know uh, free to play gaming. Uh, Joe, uh, he he uses MobyZen, and um, I think uh, Black Bear, Blacky Bear. Um, I think he uses MobyZen as well. I could be wrong about that. I'm not sure, uh, and I'm not sure about about a few of the other ones. But uh, I know a lot of people use MobyZen because a lot of the players are Android users. But um, there are uh, plenty of iOS users. So if you're an iOS user, this is how to do it. And if you are serious about it. Um, you know, feel free to post any questions in the comments below. No, I won't explain everything over again. Um, you know, this this is a detailed detailed enough video on what programs I use, and you could just Google them. Um, you know, and uh, screen capture. I don't know any free um, other than trial versions uh, for screen captures that are actually decent enough quality, but um, I'm sure you could find one. And um, but if you are having difficulty setting this up and you're you're stuck somewhere, uh, feel free to post a qu question. You know, and don't don't take this as if I'm like upset or anything. It really is just um, more frustrating than I than it is upsetting. But all just uh, with the amount of people asking. Uh, so this is how you do it. Okay, case closed. Um, if anyone asks me in chat or anything like that, I will just redirect you to this video.